I either, you know, for sex, sure. But I don't know. So that's Ashley and Michael. And I don't know why they're getting divorced, but I would love to know. And thank you to the Sarah Fraser show behind the velvet rope listener who saw him on the plane and in line and decided to take these pictures. Thank you for sending these. Thank you know, you. I, I wish you got like a closer up over here, but we'll post them and, you know, something is better than nothing. Now, what would you like to talk about next? Because you know what I want to talk about? What, what? With RHOBH back on the air, coming up and we have RHOA. I want to talk about this. Lisa Vanderpump, Erica Jane. First of all, Lisa and Garcelle went from like meeting once to meeting again to like, look, you girls know what you're doing and that's okay. And I'm not shading their friendship, but like Garcelle knows that meeting with Lisa is going to put some jabs in people and Lisa knows and I'm all here for it. But Lisa and Erica have gotten into a little bit of a tiff, haven't they? Um, yes, they are fighting. Um, you know, there's been a lot of back and forth about, you know, cause Lisa had that like thing that kind of like dig at Erica that, you know, of course, Erica didn't read Gar- Garcelle's book or she didn't understand it because Erica's dumb and really needed a <coughs> scratch and sniff book, you know, <laughs> and then, and then and so like she doesn't that- know how to read. Right. She doesn't know how to read. Then that makes the rounds. And then, you know, Erica responds, that's rich coming from someone whose breath reeks of garlic, Chardonnay, and a cigarette, you know, it's like, <laughs> which actually kind of, I could see Lisa Vanderpump's breath smelling like that. So there's kind of this like back and forth. And, you know, I have my own theory about uh, Vanderpump and Garcelle becoming friends. Please, um, please share. Well, my theory is, you know, I think Lisa desperately wants back on Housewives. And she said, if they fired the entire cast and they cast Sutton, Garcelle, and myself, it would be an epic uh, Beverly Hills and I would return. They're never going to do that. How recent did she say that? No, they're not. Very recently. Very recently. That was like, that was like this past week. She doesn't, she won't keep Crystal? She didn't mention Crystal, no. She did not mention Crystal. I, I think, you know, LVP, uh, you know, she wants back on that show so bad. Don't you think? I think she wants back in so bad. I have recently sat down with a major housewives producer, which is coming up on behind the velvet rope. And he said, he said that a housewife has never, now I got to really think about this and I'm not challenging him he's like a housewife has never turned down an offer like you can negotiate well I mean Bethany Frankel has but like so yeah I think you know I stand by what I said which made national headlines last year or whatever I think Lisa would need a two in front of it to come back I think listen I think Lisa would come back now if you gave her two something I do whether she wants to or not the future of Vanderpump Rules is looming, as we talked about last year. I think she would come back now if we gave her two something. I, yeah, I, I think if it was her, Garcelle, and I mean, this is no shade to Crystal, but it's kind of like Lisa's shade to Crystal, because I believe Lisa would keep Crystal. It's just that Crystal is so in the background. <laughs> Who? Um, yeah. We'll see how Crystal's year goes. I think Crystal better step her shit up. I hope she filmed well. But no, yeah, I don't think she's going to work with Erica. I don't think she's going to work with, you know, Kyle, she's not going to work with Dorit, but I think for two something as much money as she has, I mean, she might, she might, but I think her coming back, listen, this isn't the OC. It's not New York. We don't have a problem here. Like, you know, it's not Atlanta, which I hope has a great season. I was going to say, Beverly Hills hasn't missed a beat. You know, I love, I love Lisa Vanderpump. I do. I love it. I've been to Pump. I've been to Sir. I mean, I, I love all that. Honey, but as, as Teddy Mellencamp her. points out, I was a fan. I went to Lisa Vanderpump's fucking wine signings in like, I have a friend in Te- I went to her wine signings all over the world. Go on. No, I just, I would say uh, that show hasn't missed a beat. Whereas like, I think you could argue Tamara and Vicky, like without Tamara and Vicky, we're, it is missed. We are struggling. Even Kelly died. I, I liked Kelly, you know, on the show. It is, I don't care what anyone says, uh, you know, Orange County to me is like, jump the shark. I'm just not interested unless something major changes. But Beverly Hills hasn't missed a beat without Lisa. I agree with all of that. And by the way, 
I don't, and I don't have no problems with Tamara. Remember, my feud with Teddy has nothing to do with Tamara. Yes. I don't think the OC can go back, though. I don't think if you brought Vicky and Tamara back and Kelly, does anyone, okay, let's take a moment of silence. Is anyone excited for that? I mean, really excited. We're really excited for this season of Beverly Hills. We love this season of New Jersey. We are on edge for Salt Lake. Does anyone excited if it was Vicky and Tamara and Kelly? You would watch episode one and two and maybe three, but is that going to solve this problem? Because if so, then let's talk. I don't know. I don't think it's going to. I mean, the only thing that solves it, and of course, I actually really loved Gretchen and Slade. I mean, Ooh, yes. you know, you know, you bring back Gretchen, you bring back Slade. The thing I think where what's happened with Housewives, right, is when it started, it was such a revolutionary show. We just wanted to come into their lives and see their kind of semi bratty kids and see the parents sort of talk shit to their parents or, you know, correct or like the parents were brats and the, the kids were sort of normal. But as the years have gone on, I feel like the ante has been upped. And now the ante is criminal investigations being, it's, they've almost kind of reverted to trash. Like they're, they're rich, but trashy, I guess. Like, I just think the days of, I think the days of like us just following Kelly and Tamara going to lunch and arguing don't work without like, like if Tamara's business was being like sued and she's near bankruptcy then you bring back Tamara. That, does that make sense? Like, I just think we've gone in a direction now. Like if you're not bringing the Salt Lake kind of drama, this looming prison thing, Teresa's been to jail, which I know seems nuts, but I think people want to watch shit that's probably never going to happen to them. And most people's husbands are not embezzling 30, 40, 50, a hundred million dollars to make them a singer. So I just think now- Unless you're going to bring it so much, you know, I mean, Candace brings the fights, the, you know, the, the, uh, like, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if we're, if there's some like jaw dropping dirt coming out about Michael and Ashley, you know, like, that's what I'm saying. Like Matt, like Ashley having an affair, like, I just think it's gotta be so the ante has been up. Like no one wants to watch them anymore. Like Dallas, no one gives a fuck that that who's the Prescott or Westcott chick. Like, Cameron, I, no one cares that your life is like beautiful. Like, get almost arrested. Like, you know, your husband gave you an STD. Like, we need shit that's not going to happen to us now. Yes, and yes, and I, we both agree that like nothing against Lisa Vanderpump. Save her, save Lisa Vanderpump. You don't need her now. It doesn't hasn't missed a beat, and we're gonna have another great yeah. season. And when Beverly Hills goes down and is trash, which I don't think is, I mean, listen. At the uh-huh. end of the day, this franchise had bad seasons. People were like, "I'm so sick of Lucy, Lucy Apple Juice," and I'm so sick of Munchausen's. And the 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 thing we said as as a viewer was, "This is the only franchise where it's one note. The entire season is about Munchausen's. The entire season is about Lucy, Lucy Apple Juice." Ugh. And so 